Hey everybody, it's Case of Man Rules again. I'm doing my second tutorial this week. Um, this one's going to be on this program called Ops Turntables. Um, it is a great program that I like a lot. It's where you put your own music in and you can mix it, move it around. It's a great program, lots of little details to fiddle with, but I'll go into detail after you get it so you can do it too at the same time. Okay, where you're going to want to get it from is off the download.com. Um, I'll put this link in the description so you don't have to look it up, even though it won't kill you. <laughs> but, um, it's got a description of it right here, and I like it a lot. Just click download now. And their little window will come up. And once again, just save it wherever. Um, well, I guess I'll do it, so I'll go through the download process with you guys, or the installation process, sorry. Just wait for that to finish. Okay, and then just go to wherever you saved it. Make sure you know where you did. Okay. And it's going to be right here. Double click it. And it will go into this. Sorry about my firewall. I guess I'll just turn that off of this. Because it's definitely a safe program. And it'll talk to you. It's talking to me right now. Um, it just Click next. It's kind of animated. It's kind of neat. These guys must have some time. But um, just begin installing files. I can't do it because I already have it, but it'll install it for you guys. And yeah, so then you can ha you will then have this. When you start it up and when you close it, it'll come up with some little things trying to get you to buy the full version. But I don't think that's really necessary. See, there's that. And then it comes up, it'll talk to you when you're doing that, whoops, and yeah. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do is put your songs in the playlist down here. I think it comes with some defaults and will automatically. Let's put, do do do, where's the song I'm looking for? I will, we'll just do this one. Let's see, is this an MP3? Hmm. Files. Not the smosh. Um. Let's see, okay. There we go. And it'll load it up. And I think it starts playing, or no, you have to drag it up there. Hit play. It'll start playing. Sorry that you can't hear it. But, um, yep, and what you can do is go into effects, and you can, uh, you can't record Scratch because it's the free version, so you can't really record anything with this one. That's a drawback, but it's, you don't really need to if you're just going to use it for parties or something, because you do it on the spot. But, um, you can scratch, do neat stuff like that. There are different scratch patterns. You can also manually scratch it. And, um, add surface noise, weird stuff like that, and make it sound like anything you want. It's a great program. Now, the other thing that I wanted to cover with this is, I'm sure most people out there use iTunes or something. And, as I've enforced before, don't use torrents like LimeWire or anything like that. So, hopefully, you're buying your music legally, and you're going to most likely end up with M4As. Well, Ots only takes MP3s, so there's an easy little program that you can get. It's a free M4A to MP3 converter. Works great. I use it for anything I want to use in here. So what you do, go to this site right here. This will also be in the description. Click download. Don't worry, it's spyware, virus-free. I've used it. Um, you can scan it if you feel necessary. 
Um, just download it. That should come up in a second here. Oh, here it is. So I don't want to do it, but you guys know how to install something. Once again, if you have any problems, you can just uh, give me a message or whatever, and I'll get back to you. But download it without a problem for me. I think it's a okay. Just open up iTunes. Sorry, iTunes is a big program to run. It takes some time, especially with all this junk open. Uh, I'm a smart one. Okay, just pick a song. Um, I'll do this. Copy. Go to any folder. I'll use my music folder. And there it is right there. Now just drag it into the converter. There it is right there. And just click, make sure this is on MP3, click convert. And it will convert it and put it back in the folder where you dragged it from. It'll take a second or two. Okay, finished it up, and let's see, you have to find the one that it changed into, here it is, the one that it changed into, the mp3 I think, yep, mp3, okay, now just Just uh, go into Auths now, Files, go into your music, select the song, and there you go. You had a song from iTunes that's now in MP3 format and you can use. And just drag it on up. Another neat thing, you can play them both at the same time, make different noises, weird stuff like that. Anything that you like, weird little processors, junk that I don't understand. But if you fool around a bit, you can make yourself some cool noises. Um, that's about it. I've got to finish this up because I'm going to run over time. And, yeah, um, any other questions, anything I left out, send me a message. If I left out something big, I'll make a follow-up, but I don't think I did. So, thanks, and see you guys later.